Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies as well as how you feel about each other. So we're going to jump right in. So let's get this started. Spirits and Angels messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know regarding love? Past life relationship, you've known each other before. They need to know spirit. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. It is safe for you to love at the bottom of the deck. I keep getting that card. I also keep getting stay optimistic about your love life. But Okay, so this is regarding someone from the past or a past life connection. So let's see what we can get with the tarot. Messages for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? Also keep in mind, Scorpio, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate for every Scorpio watching. So just keep that in mind. Do not try to make this fit if it's not for you. If it doesn't resonate, check out my playlist for Scorpio. I'll have it linked uh, up in the cards and also in the comments, pinned in the comments. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, okay. Let's cut the deck here. Let's just get messages for you, Scorpio. Okay, in the past energy, we have the Knight of Wands. In your energy, we have the Queen of Cups. And the five of wands okay in the present energy we have the knight of cups well wow, these are all upright and the two of pentacles in their energy we have the king of cups wow and the death card reverse scorpio energy i was wondering when the reverses were going to come out wow and in the near future we have the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy with the king of pentacles with the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy same here with the queen of cups bottom of the deck i have the six of wands reversed with the ace of pentacles reversed interesting so you both are mirroring each other i have the queen of cups on your end scorpio and on their end i have the king of cups feel free to uh reverse these roles if they resonate more for you but clearly there's an emotional connection here something very special however right underneath that i have the five of wands for you and then the death card reverse for them there's something a bit off here and then in the center this is like the current energies between you we have the knight of cups this could be somebody expressing how they feel um an apology is this just a you know some sort of emotions being expressed here and then I have the two of pentacles, kind of going back and forth, weighing their options, something to do here with a decision. There's juggling, multitasking. There's a lot going on with the two of pentacles. So we're going to have to break this down. Let's start with the knight of wands. Tell me about the knight of wands, please. The knight of wands is someone that is um, bold. Uh, they move quickly, very passionate. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, please. Okay, we got the Five of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Scorpio? The Moon, Pisces energy. Five of Pentacles reverse and the Moon. Interesting. The moon is all about what's hidden under the surface, um, confusion, illusion, it's very mysterious energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but what I'm getting here, it's almost like 
if there is a desire to recover something that's missing or overcome some sort of difficulty with the five of pentacles reverse there's something either mysterious or that is is not as it seems let's get some more information about this moon tell me about the moon please about the moon. Why is the moon here? Yeah, six of wands reverse. There's something off. It could be that there, there was a very quick romance. It could have been a fling. It could be that somebody jumped into something here. Um, Non-committal with the knight of wands. Um, they have a lot of fun. There's a lot of passion and chemistry. Um, but maybe this didn't go past that. Maybe there was um, a lot that was unknown, unclear. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Okay, that's way too many. But I'm going to look at them. Temperance Reverse, Two of Cups Reverse, a Star and the Five of Cups. Yeah. Okay. This is a, definitely a separation, a disconnect. Something that needs healing. Um, something that is imbalanced. Or there is an imbalance, sorry. And there's regrets with the past here. Something definitely happened between you and this person. Or this is something that you experienced in the past with, you know, in, in a relationship. Or your person experienced in a relationship. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? King of Swords reverse. Yeah, that's the third king that pops up. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Got the Empress. Wow. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. And then I'll kind of look at this as a whole. Why is the Knight of Cups here, Spirit? Give me some insight for Scorpio. Four of Pentacles reverse. Can you tell me for Scorpio? Two of Swords reverse. Again with the choice, the decision. Give me a second to really look at this together. I feel that I feel it's almost like someone's trying to decide to speak up to open up to grow and invest in something to express themselves why is the king of swords reverse why is the king of swords reverse Yep. Seven of Swords. Okay, so I feel like something is off. And it's because you or your person are dealing with someone that is not to be trusted. I feel like you might be an Empress energy or your person is trying to grow or manifest something it really doesn't matter which one it is because i feel like the problem is this king of swords reverse there's something that's not clear or not right here either someone is being deceptive or being sneaky and i feel like they go back and forth back and forth and don't make up their mind about this with the Knight of Cups, I have the Four of Pentacles reversed, which is, I feel, someone needing to let go of something they're holding on to. And the Two of Swords reversed. I feel like this is someone that has finally made a difficult decision. Tell 
Tell me about this Four of Pentacles reverse. Why is this Four of Pentacles reverse? It's interesting because I'm getting a strange message. Okay. Four of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that's keeping quiet about something. They're holding back about something. There's no action here, just thinking. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, it could have been waiting a long time. Maybe they invested in the wrong thing. It's weird. It's almost like, um, and, and, and you know, the Knight of Cups is not someone that has bad intentions. So this King of Swords reverse with the Seven of Swords, I don't feel this is Knight of Cups energy. And I'm almost thinking, you know, if there's a motherly figure here or a feminine energy that's very, um, that's in the way, I'm not, that's going to be for just a small number of you. I can see why, why this Knight of Cups would want to sneak away or be deceptive, but I feel it's to this energy. I don't think it's to you, which I know might be confusing. I feel like this is very confusing energy because the situation, there's something off about it that maybe I'm not seeing, but maybe you're watching this and you're like, I know exactly what that is. We'll see the more we get into this. Let's look at your energy separately. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available um, in the shop. So uh, if you're interested in this deck, then check out the link in the description box. Spirit, give me some more insight into Scorpio and this other person. You know, and it's weird because I don't think that your person is the one that is trying to do something bad here. I mean, we have the King of Cups upright. And the King of Pentacles upright. So I don't know what this is. Tell me more about Scorpio and this other person. What is Scorpio's energy? What is Scorpio's energy spirit? What is the energy that they're bringing to, to this connection? Happy ending and I want this one too. New beginnings. Wow. You want a happy ending. And I feel like in your mind, you're ready for a new beginning here, a new path. For things to be fair and balanced to you, I have poetic justice here. So that's what I get here for your energy. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with spirit. What is their energy? Looking inward, reflection, solitude, that's way too many, planning, take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. It's very hermit energy. Tell me more about this person. And we know that does make sense with this King of Cups as well. King of Cups is very in tune with their emotions. Victory lap. So this person's thinking about success and I have mirrored souls at the bottom of the deck. This person's focused on, they're looking inward. They're probably listening to their intuition, reflecting, you know, they're probably withdrawn to really think about how to make something happen, how to have success. You know, it could be that they are trying to be strategic here regarding a difficult person with the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Or it could be that this is the energy this person has to step into, which is kind of strange. So let's clarify. I want a different deck. Which deck do I want? Or this one. So let's clarify your energies. Tell me more for Scorpio Spirit. Let me clarify these energies for Scorpio, please. Now, Scorpio, keep in mind, um, I have you on one side and your person on the other. But it can be flipped, so feel free to flip it. Scorpio. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. I 
There's six queen of cups here. Wow. The Emperor reversed. Scorpio, not Scorpio, Aries energy. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this didn't go anywhere. It could have even been a broken commitment. Yep, this didn't go anywhere. There's love, there's emotions, but something hasn't started. And it's and you feel powerless, you know, like the situation's out of your hands, out of your control, or you're dealing with someone difficult as well. But this is something that hasn't started, hasn't taken off here with these energies. There's conflict drama down here with this five of wands. Competition, could be jealousy. Tell me about the five of wands. What's this five of wands about? The sun reverse. Why is the five of wands here? Reverse? No, not reverse. Why is the five of wands here? Nine of swords. Yeah. Something happened. Something happened, Scorpio, and it wasn't good. King of cups reverse. There's a disconnect here. But then I then I get the I, the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, what is happening here? Is someone neglecting their emotions or suppressing their emotions? You're worried about drama conflict here. You're stressed about something. Fear is here with the Nine of Swords. Unhappiness with the Sun. Reverse. There could be something that you feel someone's hiding from you. Maybe you have doubts. Tell me about the King of Cups. There's the King of Cups here. Okay, go to. Oh my God, another King. King of Wands reverse and the Moon reverse. Okay, okay. Can I get one more, please? I'm starting to see what's going on. Tell me about the King of Cups. Yep, Eight of Swords. So this is what I'm getting. Um, Scorpio, this will not resonate with all of you. This is going to be a very specific message. I feel like someone here is not being honest due to fear. And I'm starting to think it's this King of Cups, this person that you are dealing with. Either they're deceiving themselves or they're deceiving you due to fear. This is someone that's not taking action. There's no action being taken, possibly no communication for some of you. This person goes back and forth, hot and cold. And I feel like you're going to realize something about this person with the moon reverse. Why is death reverse? Why is the death card reverse? Why is death reverse? We got the knight of pentacles. I think on the outside, this person's very calm, but there's something like that they're dealing with here or that they're suppressing. Wow, look at all this. Judgment, temperance, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone who is trying to prevent something here from, or it could be even delays. There's either a resistance to a change or an ending or delays regarding an ending. Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. 
Now the Knight of Pentacles, this is interesting because I have here the Page of Wands Reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and now I have the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> So, you know, when I see the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, you know, I see this as someone that wants to bring you something, wants to communicate something to you, something that looks here like it's solid. So I feel like there's something here that I'm missing because something here with, with Temperance and the Knight of, of Pentacles, this is going to take time. This is going to be like patience is needed. Things are slowly coming together, like really slowly. Um, time is of the essence here, but it, I mean, there's no rush, basically. And then there's judgment. So I don't know. It's almost like. Let's let's ask, actually, let's ask, what's this temperance card about? What is slowly coming together here? Spirit, what is temperance about? Nice temperance here. Wow, it's regarding the past. Six of Cups reverse. And then we have the world at the bottom of the deck. So this is about ending a cycle and starting a new one. That's what this is about. This person could be trapped or stuck, fearful regarding what needs to happen here with this cycle ending. There's a lot of moving parts here. And I just like, sometimes you have a reading where it's very simple what someone's intentions are or where, what they're thinking, what's in their head. But I think this person is so conflicted. They really aren't sure. And so that makes them hesitate. And they're also scared of something. And you're both mirroring each other. You have the Nine of Swords, they have the Eight of Swords. You have the Queen of Cups, they have the King of Cups. They have the Moon Reverse, there's the Moon over here. There's the Sun Reverse on your end. Something here is blocked and what's this Moon Reverse? Why is the Moon Reverse? What is gonna be seen very clearly? An illusion that comes to the surface. Whatever was hidden is revealed here with the Moon Reverse. Tell me about the Moon Reverse. Okay. This is about the moon reverse. Ten of Swords. My goodness. Why is the moon reverse? Can I get one more for the moon reverse? Queen of Swords. My goodness. So basically, what I'm get getting here is like whatever this revelation is, it's going to lead to a an ending. Someone's going to cut something out completely. Maybe that's why this person is so scared. Spirit, tell me about this King of Pentacles. Wow, I've got the Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands reverse. Again, I feel like this person, whoever needs to end something, let down a burden, it's gonna cause problems. There is some huge blowout here. I'm surprised I haven't seen the tower. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. Seven of Pentacles. And again, there's doubts here with the Seven of Pentacles. Will something work out? Will things be fixed? Will I grow something, manifest something here? I have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Will I be able to have my happy ending, basically? Yeah, Four of Wands. This is about having something stable, happy, balanced, this is domestic bliss. 11, 11, you know, beautiful energy. And someone's like wondering if that's going to happen. It's going to cause conflict. There's going to be a big brouhaha here. And I think it scares this person. But something's happening very soon. You know? Um... I feel like an ending is coming. This person might be trying to slow it down, trying to make things, you know, come together in harmony regarding the past, you know, but 
maybe they want to do things right and that's why they don't want things to happen so quickly but i don't know i feel like things are going to happen how they're meant to you know it's not like how this person is wanting but how they're meant to play out all right scorpio i'm going to leave it there hopefully this reading resonated with you if it did leave me a comment down below let me know um, if you'd like to support the channel for free scorpio you can do so by clicking the like button or subscribing it really helps the channel out it shows this video to more people and they can in turn get these messages as well thank you to everyone who has already done that i really appreciate it and i'll see you on another video very soon take care